Earth's magnetic field has been acting quite strange recently, hasn't it? Well, maybe you haven't heard. But new satellite data from the ESA, the European Space Agency, has revealed that the mysterious anomaly weakening Earth's magnetic field continues to evolve. With the most recent observations showing we could soon be dealing with more than one of these strange phenomena. What are those phenomena? Well, satellites may be in danger as Earth's magnetic field weakens. Now, the South Atlantic anomaly is a vast expanse of reduced magnetic intensity in Earth's magnetic field, extending all the way from South America to Southwest Africa. Since our planet's magnetic fields acts as a kind of shield from cosmic rays and other harmful elements from space, protecting Earth from solar winds and cosmic radiation, in addition to determining the location of the magnetic poles, any reduction in its strength is an important event we need to monitor closely. And if you're looking at the data here, which is looping, the South Atlantic anomaly in the magnetic field, you may consider a hole. And the people underneath of this hole are being bombarded with cosmic radiation and other horrible things. Pretty sure their local news is not reporting on that. But at present, there is nothing to be alarmed about, according to the mainstream. The European Space Agency notes that the most significant effects right now are largely limited to technical malfunctions on board satellites and spacecraft, which can expose, they can be exposed to a greater amount of charged particles in low Earth orbit as they pass through the South Atlantic anomaly in the skies above the South American and South Atlantic Ocean. Now, it's not easy just to readjust the orbits of things. So this is going to be problematic. Now, luckily, it's not in North America where I live. Hopefully, it's not where you live because this could literally be the jumping off point or the falling in point for objects from space. They could actually be cut down here and fall off left or right. So South Africa could be a major strike zone. This is only going to increase in size as the magnetic reversal continues. But what else do they have to say? The magnitude of the anomaly should not be diminished, according to the experts. In the last two centuries, Earth's magnetic field has lost 9% of its strength on average, and the European Space Agency says, assisted by a drop in minimum field strength in the South Atlantic anomaly from approximately 24,000 nanoteslas to 22,000 nanoteslas over the past 50 years, Exactly why this is happening remains a mystery. But if you read other mainstream articles, you're going to find out that they think that the iron core is sloshing around. Now, research has shown the Earth's magnetic field is constantly in a state of flux. No one knows why it is generated or how it is generated. And every few hundred thousand years, give or take, Earth's magnetic field flip-flops with the north and south magnetic pole swapping places. Well, the periodicity of a polar reversal on Earth, a full polar reversal where north goes to south and south goes to north, is almost a million years. But what happens more frequently than that are magnetic reversals, and we're living one. These magnetic perturbations, magnetic excursions, well, they're mass extinction events. And the fact that they're now warning that the tens of thousands of satellites may be affected and plunged to Earth, well, we've been warning for that for years. So the mysterious anomaly weakening Earth's magnetic field seems to be splitting. And that's getting a lot of people, well, wetting their pants. Here are the current positions of the pole. This one's over, just over Siberia. This one has left Antarctica and is headed towards Australia. Both of the poles are destined to meet at the star somewhere west of Indonesia in just a few decades. What does that mean for you and me? 
well. Let's come look at some of the data we know about. These are the known magnetic excursions for the last 72,000 years. And they are quite periodic and episodic. Approximately every 12,000 years, there is a magnetic excursion which causes extreme reduction of species and the introduction of new species. It might even be driving the evolution on the planet. So evolution may be driven by the influx of cosmic rays. During these magnetic excursions, our magnetosphere wanes to 5 10%. And the cascade of UVA, B, and C and cosmic radiation is unfathomable. Now, what we do know about cosmic radiation is that it can affect the deroxynucleic acid in humans, the DNA. And this may cause spontaneous, yes, evolution in the form of mutation or acceptation, however you want to swallow it. Now, today is the global warming magnetic excursion. 12,000 years ago, the Gothenburg, 23,000 years ago, Lake Mungo, 35,000, Mono Lake, 45K ago, La Champ, 60,000 years ago, Vostok and the 72,000 year ago North Atlantic anomaly. Now, we know this is happening. Why do you care? Because the, yeah, it's about to hit the fan. Not today, not tomorrow. It's already happening in our lives worldwide. But the bigger event is coming. Are you prepared? Preparewiththeranch.com because when the poles start racing towards Indonesia, things are going to start evolving and you're going to need some food. Be safe. And that's a boom. Share this with like minded people. If you have any questions, leave them below. The first thing to hit Earth are satellites. Then we're looking at the uptick in cycle 25 in the next several years, perturbations to the grid. But the big picture, as the magnetosphere wanes, major volcanic eruptions, major tectonic events, and the end of the empire. Are you preparing? Time is ticking. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. Prepared, not scared. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in the next magnetic excursion. That's boom.